Hey everybody, I hope you all enjoyed the 10 Days of the Dead feature. Last year, I ended the Frankenstein feature announcing that I already had the theme and movies picked out for next year, and it was true. The tentative list that I put together in 2010 for zombie movies wound up being the final list of movies that I reviewed. However, this year, I'm not sure exactly where to go next. It's not that I don't have any ideas, it's that I have too many ideas. So, I'm looking to you, my fellow horror movie fans, for guidance. Now, I'm not doing a poll or anything, or looking for which of these gets me the most votes, nor am I looking for suggestions on which movies to use for each one. As you know, I like to keep the movie list secret until the feature goes up. But for Halloween 2012, I'd like to hear which of these you'd like to see done, and why. Remember, I'm not looking for what the most people pick, but for ideas on which of these would be the most interesting. My first idea is 10 Days of Werewolves. As a matter of fact, a lot of people I know assume that after Dracula and Frankenstein, werewolves would be the natural third choice. I think it's because when you think of classic horror movies from the Golden Age, the 1930s, you tend to think of the Wolfman as being right there next to Dracula and Frankenstein. But the fact is, I don't really like most werewolf movies, and I really wanted to do zombies. Of course, the fact that I find most werewolf movies to be bad isn't a reason to not do it, as they're not all bad, and I find reviewing bad movies to be fun, so I'm putting it out there. Idea number two is Ten Days of Vampires. It's similar to my first feature, the Dracula one, except there's a lot of vampire movies out there that have nothing to do with the Count. I won't say what movies I have in mind for this one, but I promise you I will not review any of the Twilight movies. A friend of mine was disappointed when I told him that. He wanted me to rip Twilight to shreds, and I just have no desire at all to watch it, and I don't think it fits with the horror theme at all. But let me know if you want to see vampires and why. Idea number three is Ten Days of Satan. This idea I came up with fairly recently. It would be mainly movies about satanic or de demonic possession, and there's a lot of them. Not much to say, it's the idea I was strongly leaning towards at first, but then of course I started to get indecisive again. Idea number four is Ten Days of Hauntings. It's pretty self-explanatory as well, right? Ghost stories. There's not a whole lot of high-profile ghost horror movies compared to the numbers of vampires or zombies or whatnot, but some of my favorite horror movies of all time are hauntings. It's something that I could possibly have a lot of fun with. Let me know what you think. Idea number five is Ten Days of Killers. This would mainly be slasher movies, and of course it's easy to assume that this started in the 70s, but I'd of course include older films as well. That's a strong tradition. This one could also be a lot of fun. My last idea, number six, is Ten Days of Monsters. This is a pretty wide variety of films, but basically, if it's a monster, it could be a contender for the feature. Of course, these aren't the only ideas out there. There are loads more of ideas I could use, but to be honest, I'm trying not to come up with more ideas, as I clearly have too many right now. So let me know which of these would interest you the most and why. Please don't make assumptions about which movies I would pick for a feature, though. Although there are some that I think would be obvious, like for the Dracula feature, it'd be knobbish to not include the 1931 Universal Classic. It goes without saying. But I always try to put in a few oddball or obscure ones and mix it up. And there's only ten spots, and remember that I never just pick ten favorite movies of mine in each genre. I try to give a mixture of good and bad. That being said, I hope you all enjoyed the feature. Let me know what you think for next year, and I'll take it under consideration.